Hello everybody, it's me, your favorite Italian streamer, Italian Gamer Joe. Welcome to a new night of special fun video game excitement. We are not playing Nancy Drew tonight. Um, if you were expecting to play Nancy Drew, that will probably be tomorrow, maybe. But tonight we are playing something different. We are playing League of Legends. Um, sorry, it's Ruined King, a League of Legends story. So if you've ever by any chance heard of the very popular video game League of Legends, um, we are playing <laughs> We are playing uh, League of Legends um, Ruined King. Basically, um, for those of you that may, don't, may not know, League of Legends is a free to play um, if it's a free to play game that you can download online from Riot Games. Um, you I think it's a MOBA. You basically you go and you just you select a champion, you basically try to get from point A to point B, but like you're defending towers and stuff. I'm I'm like I'm kinda like new at League of Legends and I suck at it, but I started watching the Netflix show Arcane. Um and I finished it. Like I finished Arcane, I binged through all nine episodes. Uh or was it seven? No, I think it's nine. I binged through the show. And holy shit, it was a really good show. I I was never a fan of League of Legends. I knew of the game and I knew like of the of the experience, but never have I ever been a fan of League of Legends. Like I suck at it. I'm I suck at the characters. I suck at the I just suck at the game and it was never a game I was really into. Guava, okay, it's a MOBA. Yeah. It's it's a game that I really am bad with. I don't know the characters. I don't know much of the lore. Uh, it's a game that I never really got into and in the past I've had friends and exes that have tried getting me into League of Legends and they've they've always told me like Joe it's a great game you got to try it um, one time I had a co an ex coworker tell me uh, if you want a virus on your computer download <laughs> League of Legends that is the virus that you'll get on your computer and I'm like oh my god that's that's horrible that's horrible <laughs> <laughs> um so uh League of Legends is a game that I've had like a love-hate relationship with cuz it's one of those games that looks cool but I mean people like like yeah d like uh Digi Cub you said that it's like toxic. Um I need to catch up with some chat here. Um let me just uh we, I guess we got Guava here, Digi Cub, we got Janeezy, um Electro Clarinet, Esco Blazin. Um, hope you're all having great evenings, and for those of you that are just lurking in the shadows, hope you also are having a great evening. Um, today is November 26th, 2021. The time is almost 9 o'clock Central Standard Time. And like I said, tonight we are playing League of Legends Story uh, Ruined King. I, so I finished Arcane on Netflix, I really liked it, and tonight we're playing the Nintendo Switch version of Ruined King. Um, ruining all kings, I know, right Guava? We're going to ruin some kings tonight. Um, my new green screen. Thank you. I am trying to get it set up to make to work properly, but yeah, I'm hoping the green screen will give uh, the opportunity for you to have more real estate of what I'm looking at and stuff like that. So I'm hoping that helps. Um, before we get started, I'm going to really, really quickly give some shout outs to some streamers that I know are here. Um, the first of which I'll give a shout out to is DigiCub. Please go check out DigiCub. Um, he was last playing the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Oh, wow. Digicub. I didn't know you were a Final Fantasy fan. Um, but yeah, please go check him out. Um, another streamer you should go check out that's here tonight is Esco. Oh, no, wait. Esco Blazin, not Esco Blazins. I'm sorry. I keep getting... I always get the name wrong. Uh, Esco Blazin, singular. Um, Esco Blazin isn't here, then. The imposter. We got an imposter here tonight. Um, let's see... And that's all the streamers that I know that are here tonight. Anyway, so, um, guava, dun, dun, da. <laughs> anyway, I hope you're all having a great night. Um, one thing I'm going to just start by saying is I started playing Ruined King and the game is very cinematic and very dialogue heavy. So what you're going to see is you're going to see a lot of me doing, um, some reading and me trying to do some, their game is voice, but some parts aren't, uh, you're probably going to see me doing a lot of interpretation. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, uh, <laughs> Guava, Esco Blazin's vented. Oh, well, we should, you know, cast him out of the airship. 
Uh, but yeah, I'm excited. This game looks really fun, and like I said, I don't know much of the League of Legends lore, so if you're a League of Legends fan and you like this game, you are more than welcome to input in the chat like something I may have missed or something about the character or the story. I, I, I don't know. My... My favorite character in League of Legends, the PC game, is Misfortune, and Ruined King is based on Misfortune, and I'm like, oh my god, I love Misfortune! Of course I'm gonna play Misfortune, so here we are. We're here with Misfortune, we're gonna play League of Legends, Ruined King, and uh, for those who don't know, Misfortune is a pirate character, and as you know, Italian Gamer Joe, I love like Sea of Thieves, I love pirate themed, like Escape from Monkey Island is an adventure game that I love. So anything pirate themed, it's I'm like, oh my god, I want to see it, I love it. So let's go ahead and jump in. Welcome to the the green screen version of myself here on <laughs> in the video game. Okay, so let's just jump in. Um, if the game is really really loud and you can't hear me that well, please tell me. Because then I can make the game lower. But I don't think... is the, If it's too loud, please tell me. Um, I hope it's not. If it is, tell, let me know. Okay, so we're going to do standard difficulty. I think we're not going to... I don't think we're going to do story. We're just going to try like the normal... We're going to try how the game was created. And just see how it goes. We can change it anytime anyway, so... Um, the artwork in this game is just gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous. Um, so I'm excited to see what happens. When I was a girl, my mother was murdered by a low-life coward named Gangplank. He shot me and left me for dead. There was no trial. In Bilgewater, he was the law. I hunted him. I killed his men. I watched Gangplank die, washed away on the burning tide. But there are still monsters about. For centuries, the Buru people have protected these islands from the worst of them. But even they fear the heralds. Attacks in the form of a lethal black mist, courtesy of our unliving neighbors on the Shadow Islands. Each time, the heralds return stronger, while the Buru grow distant. How long can we rely on prayers and magic? My monsters are flesh and blood. They don't frighten me. Only one thing does. Becoming one of them. Ooh, that was a really cool cutscene. I love the artwork and everything. It just looks so cool. Yay, Blueberry, thank you so much for the resub, and happy three months. Oh my god, I hope you're doing well, Blueberry. It's been a hot minute since I've seen you, and um, hope you're doing good. Let me go ahead and give you a shout-out. Uh, if you don't know Blueberry, please go check out Blueberry. Um, I've done some um, Dead by Daylight like uh, collabs with him like over Discord in the past, and uh, he's really good at Dead by Daylight. I've seen him play Dark Souls. Um, which he's also really good at. And now he's making the really tough choice to play Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Holy shit, good luck. That game sounds crazy. Good luck. <laughs> oh, stop. You're being modest. He's secretly, like, the best DPD player ever. It's almost quiet from up here. Um. If only I didn't know better. Okay, cutscene. I can't believe we're playing as Misfortune. Like, I fucking love Misfortune. Good morning, Captain. Your guest has arrived. Ooh. Raffin, who's the guest? Remember when we could just take what we wanted, go where we wanted? Remember when we could just do world. anything, like cuddling? Now look at us. Now look at us. <laughs> attempting diplomacy. And no more cuddling. Well, at least our line of diplomacy still involves guns. Can we cuddle with our guns? But when he was Reaver King, Gangplank only used guns. 
If I unite the gangs with violence, yeah, I've seen Arcane. That's why I'm playing this game. I loved Arcane so much. It was so good. You're tough, but you aren't cruel. And I'm new at League of Legends. Like, I'm totally new at it, so this is all new to me. All new. The gangs will follow you. It's only a matter of time. They can't follow me if they're... You have two episodes left, Blooper? Okay, I won't say anything. I won't say anything. I won't say anything. I'll be... Sh just throw out the key. Show them the stick. Well, then. Let's not keep Captain Thorn waiting any longer. Oh, it's so good. I've become a new League of Legends, like, like lore fan. I, 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 the PC game I suck at, but the, the lore and the characters and the game, like, holy shit. And the TV show, like, holy shit, it's really good. I'm loving it. Loving it. Opeclandia, how's it going? P.S. I have to say that shirtless pick on dogs Discord. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Opeclandia. Who was my favorite League of Legends character on the show? Uh, on the show, I don't know, like, the ma I mean, if I had to pick a favorite of all the characters on the show, I, I like the way they, they, they wrote Jinx's character, I think Jinx is a very, uh, a very well-written character, and I think that she's, like, she kind of reminds me of Deadpool, like, she's kind of like this anti-hero, and you don't know if you should love her or hate her. Like, she just reminds me of, like, a female Ryan Reynolds type of character. Like, just total, like, Deadpool type of character. And, uh, I think I just really enjoyed it. Alpaca and Landia, thank you so much for coming in tonight and lurking. Uh, you're welcome to come back and check this out. Um, and if you haven't done so already, consider watching Arcane on Netflix. Like, holy shit, it's so good. So good. One of my mem I think I missed on some like some other stuff too. But Blueberry, yeah, it's so good. I you should definitely finish it soon. Like just binge it. Just binge it. Axel, hope you're doing well. I like your emotes, Axel. Uh they look really cool. Uh let's see. Axel also redeemed a dad bob redemption, and then Guava redeemed hydrate. Guava, your redemption of hydrate is brought to you by ice, mountain water, infused with fruit punch. I know, fruit punch. Thank you so much. Guava for the redemption. Husky Dex, how's it going? Welcome in. We're playing some Ruined King Elite Legend story. Um, this game has a lot of like cinematic stuff and dialogue, so I'm trying to like be silly with it and stupid as much as I can, and just like you know give it the Italian gamer Joe twang, the twist, the twist of Italian gamer Joe. Uh, but yeah, let me go ahead and give you a shout out, Husky Dex. Um, go check out Husky Dex. He's a UK, um, a handsome UK. Uh, husky and he's really cool so go check him out um he does a lot of like dbd and vr chat and uh yeah he's really cool really really cool um and then axel redeemed a dad bob redemption so i'll just flash my dad bod okay there you go axel there was your little like dad bod flex my little flexy dad bod uh my thanksgiving dad bod <laughs> Uh, you love Echo, OMG. Echo is cool. I like Echo. I did a face cam stream on Wednesday. I'm so glad you missed it. I, I lurked. I lurked a little bit. And I saw you. I saw, but I didn't see the whole thing. I, I was just, I was like casually lurking. So anyway, we are right now playing as Misfortune. And apparently we just discovered, for those of you that are coming in, we discovered that Misfortune, um, her parents, <laughs> you aren't stone. Wow. That's so funny. Um, so misfortune's mother was killed by a, an evil man named gangplank and misfortune the character we are playing as killed gangplank and just like now she's the leader of this town and like she's like the new governor but um you know that that it's kind of like with like spider-man when they say with great power comes great responsibility that's what she's going through right now so like with great power comes great responsibility and she's kind of like going through a tough time because there are other leaders in this pirate town that want to overthrow her and she's struggling with that and then she's also struggling with some kind of like weird uh like supernatural stuff going on so i really don't know what else I, it's it's we're gonna have to see what happens and see how it goes um Blueberry says, I played him so much. Do you like seeing him on Arcane? Makes me gag. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, Blueberry, do you play League of Legends? Um, Jane Easy. 
looked good. Don't be self-conscious. Yeah, Husky, it's okay. We all, we, we're all self-deprecating sometimes, but you look great. You look awesome. Blueberry, you love League. Oh, Blueberry, do you, do you ever stream it? Do you ever stream it? Do you want to play sometime? Because I don't, I don't really know anyone that streams League. Well, actually, I started looking for gay Twitch streamers, like, like, to, to, to just play League with, but, um, I really don't know anyone that plays League, so, if you want to play sometime. But I suck. Like, I suck at it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no rest for the weary. And no cuddling. I asked for Fawn to cuddle me, but he said no. Oh, is that a lore piece? No, it's not. Is there... No, I don't want a tutorial. Oh, I did see it. I absolutely want to... Okay, but I can't stream it. I don't have a PC, only Mac. Oh, okay. Okay, no worries, Blue. No worries. Um, Guava, everyone deserves cuddles. <laughs> I love like I like seeing these loading screens, but I always like the memes where they're like uh, how loading screen tips give you like the most obvious tip. Like, <laughs> did you know that Italians are from Italy? And it's like, huh? <laughs> or like, did you know if you press the A button, it advances dialogue? Like the dumbest thing. Um, you would definitely play play OMG. Uh, every time I write play it. Oh my gosh, um, Blueberry, one time I was typing a friend and typing a message to a friend and I wrote, um, I meant to say duck, but it said the F word and I'm like, oh my God, the one time that I refer to the, to a duck, it auto corrects to the swear word. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I tried the Pokemon MOBA and I don't like the person it turns me into. Yeah. I feel like with league. I'm not playing competitively. I'm playing totally casually for fun. So I'm not playing ranked or anything. Like, I know that for me going into league, like, it's going to be totally casual. So if you are a league player and you want to play with me, uh, I'm going into it completely casual. So it looks like... That is so sad. So sad. It seems like Misfortune's going through a, like, a trauma. Still got the bullets in my chest. And I still want to be cuddled. Killing Gangplank wasn't enough, Raffin. Raffin, I need to be cuddled. You beat him. You're still breathing. And he's in little pieces all over But don't you understand I need to be cuddled? <laughs> or just little reminders. <laughs> I wish they didn't remind me so damn much. Now cuddle me. <laughs> They drew her boobs, and even like their, her character model, like her boobs are just ginormous. Like, jeez. Um, Ish, that ducking sucks, <laughs> Guava. So, what do you go for, top, mid, or bottom? I don't even know the difference. Like, what reason would I have? Like, what would I want? What reason? What's the what's the pros and cons with being top, mid, or bottom? Who fan DB? Welcome in. The big man needs pillow pecs, right? Right? I want to make my pecs that big. Like, I want to just, you know, do pec workouts all the time and have pecs that ginormous. That'd be so cool. So this game has, like, Metroid-style scanning, where it scans the whole room to tell you if there's anything you're looking for. Um, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Oh, I want to get the money. Cash money. Okay. Can we talk to this person? No? Okay, let's just go in the office. Go into the office. Oh, wait. Okay, we have to, like scan the room i love the graphics of this game the graphics are really cool i love the isometric 3d environment and the way the camera looks it's really cool it's really it's really it's really cool it's uh it it reminds me the company that made battle chasers i think made this game and that's another rpg so i think that game also had similar graphic style i think it was like you've been doing some remodeling. yes i have what can i say the place needed a woman's touch I don't think the previous owner would mind. I hired Animal Crossing Happy Home Paradise. That's how you gunned him down. Along with the rest of the conclave. Got that right. I they wouldn't cuddle. Captain Thorne or to criticize my sense of decor. I trust you've considered. You should try calling them. They go by Villager from Animal Crossing. Hand over my operations to you. My fleet and all of my men. Or else... Excuse me? Excuse me, Captain Thorne. Well, you can go duck yourself. You quack, quack. Just pull out your pistol. 
that quack thing. quack. Oh no, we're getting ambushed. Why are they all dressed in different colors? Is this Power Rangers? Now give it up, girl. The only thing that I'm going the only thing I'm gonna grab is your balls. <laughs> Just rip them off. You know, Raffin, I think I'm starting to enjoy I think I could enjoy this better than cuddling. She just pulls out her gun. Oh, it is a combat. Sweet. Blueberry, so the characters in League works best on different positions on the map, like support, tank. Oh, so the character you pick in League depends on what position you are. So it's kind of like sports. Of course it is. Um, Guava says, enough of your foul mood. Oh my god, Guava, seriously. <laughs> Smoke is here, and Dognet's here. Oh my god, we got so many nice, so many awesome people here. Well, first off, I'm going to give a shout out to Smoke, because uh, I'm going like sequentially. Please go check out Smoke. He and Husky are husbands and they stream together um and uh, they're both super nice super cool and also please go give dognet a follow um dognet is super cool uh, i'm a big fan of dognet's community and streams and uh if you're looking for like a just an awesome like person and a really handsome guy go check out dognet he's um what do you i will i will pause I will pause the stream go give dognet a follow now <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, yeah, I think, hello, Dognet, hope you're doing well, and yeah, um, yeah, we're just playing some, uh, League of Legends, I watched Arcane on Netflix, and I'm like, holy shit, holy shit, that was so good, I need to play, like, a League of Legends game, and I don't want to play League, so I'm gonna play this instead, um, <laughs> who fan says, Dognet, never heard of it, <laughs> this is a power-up audio game, <laughs> I know, right? Is my game's audio too loud though? Like, is it is it too loud? I can lower it. Um, but yeah. Anyway, um, it is. Um, but yeah. Overall, like, I'm enjoying. I loved Arcane on Netflix. Arcane on Netflix was so good. And now I'm playing League. Um, but yeah. Anyway, Dognet, thanks for coming in. Like I said, for those of you who are here, please go give Dognet a follow. He plays all kinds of games. When I first met him, he was playing rhythm games like Rhythm Doctor. Uh, but he plays like everything, even Dead by Daylight. So like, go check him out. Um, who fan? Low battery. Oh, my batteries are always low. I love cuddling. <laughs> Blue Bear says not's good. Dog's brother worked on the sound for this game. Wait, what? He did? Oh my god, Dognet. Like, how many things has your brother worked on? That's so fucking cool. Oh my god. That's so cool. Dognet, I can't wait to stream uh, Darkest Dungeon 2. I'm definitely going to stream that at some point. Who fan? No, it should on the screen a little bit. I know, I know. I was just... I was ducking with you. <laughs> uh, you will initiate a combat encounter. Okay, okay, okay. Fighter cards displayed like this. The initiative bar displays the... So, there is some... The, I've been playing this game for a little bit already. But, like, I just, you know... I, I'm still trying to figure it out. Like, what the difference is between, like, just doing instant versus lane. Like, what? why would I want to do lane? And, like, I guess, like, if you do lane, you can power up your shots. But then it takes longer to take a turn. So, now I'm just going to get my ass kicked. I think, maybe... Digicub Italian hands. Here's your Italian hands. Oh, here's your Italian hands, Digicub. Forget about it. Um. Holy shit, that's crazy, dog. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Um. <sighs> but yeah, this game's battle system is pretty fun so far. Um, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I like that it's a chill RPG. You could even turn on like an auto mode where you can just just basically like enemies just keep attacking each other. So it's it's pretty cool. Um, God, like I love the artwork too. Like when I play League of Legends, I pick Misfortune usually, and like 
Misfortune is my favorite because she's just easy. I don't know. She's one, she's ranged, and two, she's just like her her special, her alt is literally just her going and it's like literally like a wide cast, and you can kind of like spin around. So like whenever I play her in league, I always just pick that. Blueberry, if you're still here, do you know if Misfortune is top, mid, or bottom? Uh is she verse? <laughs> Um, so we defeated the pirate captain that wanted to overthrow us. You hear me, tyrant? <laughs> oh, did you hear that? He said he'll die first. How about you, boys? Does your captain speak for you all? Do you are you all not cuddlers? Do you all hate cuddling? Well, then, Thorn, this meeting is adjourned. This meeting I still can't believe she shot him. Like she fucking killed him. The rest of you, welcome I still to can't believe that. I still can't Prove believe that. Or even whisper, I hate cuddling. Captain. <laughs> Understood? Yes, Captain. They're all like, yes, we'll cuddle you. Um, did you come says I watched so much of your stream, Dognet, that I've heard you your how you do after reading your message. <laughs> that is kind of like a Dognetism. Minus a few stubborn holdouts, the syndicate's with us now. Their ships, their guns. But none of their leaders. Misfortune's just like we will cuddle them into submission. Or I'll shoot and kill them. Either way. I will make them understand. <laughs> I will make them understand, damn it. Sarah Fortune. Oh, her name is Sarah Fortune. I didn't know that. Blueberry says uh, that she's more bottom. Oh, jeez. So she's more bottom. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Guava, tough love. I know, right? <laughs> Blueberry with the support. Is that really how it goes? Okay, okay. You know, I'm really... Blueberry, I'm really liking Jinx. <laughs> I'm liking Jinx a lot. I think I might want to play her and start playing her. Because I love Jinx's attacks and stuff. Like, do you know what Jinx is? Lane switching. Be Oh, geez. Wait, is this a driving test? Am I learning how to drive? <laughs> Jinx is also ADC, so she would go bot. What does ADC mean, Blueberry? The enemy has a buff called Primed Mist Bomb that will detonate and hurt your party upon death. Unless it is first disarmed with the speed lane ability. Okay. Performing an ability speed lane reduces its cast time so you perform more quickly but weaker impact. Increase cast time but take longer to- Oh! Got it. Okay, so if I do this, I can- it'll take long- it'll take lower to cast. And I'll be able to... Okay, I get it now. I get it now. So yeah, this game definitely, like, has, like, its pros and cons. The system the system in this game is kind of, like, a little weird to me. Like, what would you... Like, what reason would you have to, to, to be in the speed lane versus, the, like, the power lane? I, I still don't get that, but... I think the game is probably just explaining, like, Oh, look, this is how you change lanes. How is this the Black Mist. <laughs> Misfortune's like, oh no, not the PC game from the 90s. This better not be M-Y-S-T. <laughs> not the game, not the Mist game on PC. Not the adventure game. Oh no, it's a black fog of smoke. Oh, okay, okay. I, I got scared for a second. Digicubs enjoying leftover mac and cheese. Ooh, yummy. Guava, you can't escape the adventure game, lady. <laughs> Just normal LA smog. That's hilarious. She's like, oh no, he was cuddled to death. Oh, not that. Not getting attacked by it. I'm waiting for Jack Sparrow to just appear out of nowhere. Not the battle going on during the tutorial. Not that. You have entered a combat encounter while standing in a hazard. Fighters in your party that are inside this region will be targeted. Once the region reaches the front of the bar, it'll apply. It'll apply. So I basically can't be in there. Okay, so that I can see how that would make sense then. Damn. Well, at least let me get like at least let me get ready. Okay. So we we basically like 
I'll have the opportunity to... Okay, if I do that, I'll be good. Because it won't hit me yet. And I'll be able to attack again. While also getting my ass kicked. Jeez. Okay, succeed, so I'm not gonna... So I'll be okay, and I won't hit... I won't be hit. Hmm. I can't do that. Okay, if I do this, it'll put me way over that meter. So I think I'm okay. No targets. Perfect. Okay. Wow. Talk about being conscious of, like... I don't know what the three dots mean. Like, what does the three dots mean? I don't know what that means. Like, does, she, does that mean misfortune wants to talk? I, I don't get that. That I don't understand. Okay, let's do love tap. Oh, fuck. We killed her. Damn. Okay, cool. Cool. Um, Let's do that again, and we'll avoid the red smog. Perfect. The... <laughs> Like who fan was saying, the LA smog. Victory. Victorious. And we got some EXP for it too. Damn. Dead already. Damn it. I wasn't here to cuddle him. I don't know why I'm tonight's theme is cuddling. I'm not even supposed to be here today. Someone asked me to cuddle. Ah! Okay, I I I, I reflexively like I reflexively like use my gun. Oh wow, and it actually did damage. Nice. Okay, I gotta be careful. So ADC, um, Glava says, would you like a cuddle? I would love to cuddle. ADC, I'd add carry league is very much about strategy. I'll post you a link in your Discord. It's very hard to explain. Add support jungler. Okay, yeah, that I would love that if you could, because honestly, um. I have no idea. Like I, I when I play, I mean, I'm I'm kind of like really really new to league, so you know, like you're you're definitely be doing me a favor there. Thank you. We should play sometime. No, please, someone help. Okay, let's see. Where do we go? Hmm. It seems like we're gonna go this way since someone was like screaming for help. Oh, oh, okay. Guava with the, with the cuddles. <laughs> Alright, so you enter combat encounter with the Spectral Warf Rat. These enemies have the Shifting Form buff, which embraces, enhances their ability to evade your attacks, but can be dispelled by attacking with the Speed Lane ability. Important buff descriptions will be displayed in the commenter face. These must require... Okay. So the game is asking me to go to inspect enemies. Uh... Okay. All non-speed lane attacks have a 15% chance to miss. Dispelled when hit with a speed lane attack. Oh, okay. So I have to use a speed lane attack in order to uh, get rid of his shifting form. Okay, that makes sense. And what about this thing? This thingy here. What happened? Oh, inspect mode. Okay. Uh, okay, so as long as we use more like speed lane shit. I think we should be okay. So, like... I think we should be okay. Oh no, I'm losing health. Combat will end if your entire party health... Okay, well, I'm the only one in my party. Blueberry. Into it. <laughs> She's like, if I can't shoot you to death, I will cuddle you. Okay, let's see. Can we... I don't know if he's using... Oh, I got hit by the poison mist. Did I break his buff? Is that... Did I do that? Did I... Did I do it? I, I'm still trying to... I'm still learning. I think I broke it. Yeah, because it says increases attack power. So, yeah, I, I think I was able to break it. Okay. I defeated it. Knockout. We won. Victory. Victorious. I like the narrator, the female narrator in League Legends. Thank you so much, Captain. I was a goner for sure. Now cuddle me. Captain, where's Raffin? He was just here. He can't have gone that far. All right, we're going to have to go find them. What are grapplers if not combat cuddlers? <laughs> right, Guava? <laughs> I've never thought about it that way before, Guava. How clever. Raffin. Clever. What happened? Raffin, and we haven't even cuddled yet. R run. No, I will cuddle you and we will escape from here. Oh shit. Okay, no, we're leaving. We're leaving. <laughs> oh jeez, not two of them. And these are the ones that you have to like... Yeah, I see. Dispelled one hit with the speed attack. So we're gonna have to use the speed lane. Uh, okay, let's do it. We can do it. We're strong. Oh, we dispelled it. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. 
Um, RCK Frozen Lore. Hello, Joe. How's it going, RCK? Welcome in. There's a video about which Mortal Kombat character is the best cuddler you'd like. Ooh. That sounds cool, Guava. Can you find it? Can you find it for us? Okay, cool. There's no buffs. So we were able to defeat it. So now all we have to worry about is getting Misfortune out of that, like, poison mist. Okay. I like how this game is not just an RPG, but it's also, like, a puzzle game. Oh, no. They got buffed. They're buffed now. Oh, but it's not... We, we, we don't have to worry about it, though. So I think we're okay. Like, they didn't get... Like, it's not that speed thing that, that happened to us before. Um, healing potion. Oh, yeah. Crap, I forgot about that. Thanks, Who. I, I appreciate that. We'll use the healing potion now. I healed a lot more now. Okay, sweet. No targets. Okay. Misfortune's just like... You want to fuck with me? I'm going to cuddle you. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't think I'm going to escape it if I do that. I don't... Wait. Let me check for a second. Okay, so it, you'll know you're still in there if it turns red, it seems like. Yeah. Where before, it turns gray. So my guess is that I don't get affected by the mist. Oh, no, I, I won. Okay, I won. Sweet. Victory. Because of the four arms. Goro, because... Yeah, Guava, you should post that video in my Discord. That'd be awesome. I want to see it. <laughs> they came out of nowhere. I couldn't. Don't talk. Save your strength. Save your strength for the cuddle later. These things in Grey Harbor. Could it be... Another harrowing? If it is, I will cuddle it into submission. But if it is, you're going to need help. We're going to need Alawi. Who's Alawi? Fight the mist and find survivors. I wonder who Alawi is. <laughs> loading screen tip. Pressing A advances the dialogue. Loading script. Loading scene tip two. <laughs> Did you know Italians are from Italy? Loading script three. Potions heal you. <laughs> I'm just imagining just continuing to cycle. Oh my god, the, even the loading screen tip, like, it's so funny, it says you can remove debuffs by cleansing them with potions or champion abilities, like, okay, okay, <laughs> Guava's like, um, source, <laughs> source please, every point of stamina got grants five health, like, okay, um, thank you for the, for the, thank you, thank you, <laughs> oh no, I have low battery. <laughs> Did you club? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Slow it down. Italians in Italy. I've never made that connection. <laughs> I like how oh it it, it skipped. Brother I love these cutscenes. A new enemy has risen in Bilgewater. The goddess Nagakaboros has shown him to me. Reveal him to us, truth bearer. This blood harbor ripper butchers men in their homes and in the streets. I can sense the fear. The stagnation he brings. We honor the mother serpent by restoring motion and driving him out. Praise the goddess. Truth better. I wish to fight for you. I am ready. Are you? If you fight with everything you have, the mother serpent may name you worthy. If not, she will take your life. I surrender Ooh. to her will. Wait, she'll take his life? Did he just kill him? Or did she just kill him? He is strong, Priestess. He may live. Perhaps if the goddess wills it. Come. Our enemy awaits. Jeez. Imagine being like the leader of your like community and then he's like, I wanna help you, and she's like and you're like, Yeah, I'll help you, but if you if you don't prove your strength to me, I have to kill you. It's like what? <laughs> Nagakaboro smiles upon us. Why do you embrace this foreigner's priestess? The Pelangi do not respect the goddess or Buru tradition. They make their own way. They fight to live, walk among them, learn from them, maybe even have some fun. They have many, 
interesting desires. <laughs> I need no man's help. <laughs> Sister, I have seen you indulge in their tethers. Do not be ashamed. Next time I will join you. Okay, so Elawe sounds pretty chill. She sounds like a pretty chill person. We just saw her, like, you know, get into a, like a little fight thing with that one dude. But she seems like she's like she's pretty like pretty chill. <laughs> okay. We will wait outside. No need to get Pelangis in corners. Damn. More for me then. Ooh. So, it seems to me like we're trying to track down a killer, and the killer goes by the Ripper. We're, go we're tracking down Jack the Ripper. We may even run into Sherlock Holmes. Elawi has joined the party. <laughs> Roll. Healing. Damage. Defense. For some reason, Dwight's <laughs> Bears beats Battlestar Galactica came into my head. I don't know why. Elawi's powerful physique is dwarfed only by her indomitable faith. As the priestess of the Great Kraken, oh geez, she uses a huge golden idol to draw power from the spirits of her enemies while restoring and protecting her allies. All who challenge the truth bearer of Naga Kaboros soon discover that the that Alawi never battles alone. The god of the serpent isles fights by her side. Wow, what a really cool Is she a hero in League of Legends? Can you play as her in League? She sounds really cool. What I mean, I'm, I'm starting to see now, like, how games like this can inspire people to go back to League of Legends and play these champions. I can see that now, how that's kind of like a big motivation to try League of Legends. Um, or if anything, just play the just play the side games, play the lore. Who fan says, Pawn's Golden Idol. Sorry. <laughs> that's funny. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I, I, I wonder if she's a dungeon abilities allows her to read and understand Buruglyphs. Her dungeon ability, Tentacle Slam, damages enemies and allows uh, Lawi to initiate battle. Already active. She can smite her enemies and restore her allies. I know, right? She seems so cool. She summons tentacles to attack her enemies and enhance her abilities. She can taunt enemies to face her rather than an allies. And this is this character is the character that Miss Fortune is trying to find. So the girl we were playing as before, Miss Fortune, um, she's looking for Elawi. So it looks like we're gonna have. It's kind of cool. It seems like it seems like we're kind of on a hunt now to track down a killer. But we're also like in the process of um, we're also in the process of like exploring this slaughter docks. It seems yeah. So far, I'm really enjoying this. It seems pretty cool. Um, well, if Misfortune's a cuddler, what should we make Alawi? I'm, I'm debating. Misfortune's the cuddle, the cuddle monster. Maybe we'll make Alawi like the cracking the whip. I will whip you with my tentacles. <laughs> God, this feels like Sea of Thieves so much. I've seen creatures from the deep larger than a ship. Only thing that scared me was Gangplank. Oh, Gangplank's the one Misfortune killed. Oh, I don't think too much. Myron's dark rum last night. You think she'd be great at cuddle? I feel like Alawi would be great at cuddling, but she wouldn't admit it. She'd probably want to, like, crack the whip first. And then she'd be like... She'd be, like, the low-key, like, best cuddler ever. But, yeah. But is, is, is it really any better with Miss Fortune? Ooh. Ooh. So it seems like people here are kind of indifferent about Miss Fortune because they're not sure about her. Ego is rated at 1 to 100 requirement as to be a character in this game needs an ego of 85. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Do you think Misfortune's hiring? I'd love to be a soldier of fortune. Rich captains live up high, but they dock down here at the waterline like the rest of us. Who's this dude? Little oh. Man. Little Madden. Where can I find the Little man? Madden. Who's asking? I am Elawi, truth bearer of Nagakaboros. Nagakaboros. Surely. And I'm the river king, Tom oh, Kench. Not that. Not uh Not that hap not that. Perhaps a display of strength will change your mind. Sorry. I try not to get into fights with strange women in bars. A lot of them do, yeah. You're right. Or just afraid. You see this sword? I've run it through hundreds of men. Most bigger than you. Allow is like, you see this tentacle? I've run it through armies.
little <laughs> little man more like <laughs> little brat <laughs> now I kill you <laughs> <laughs> Who fans says, okay, I'm ordering his casket now. Damn. <laughs> Do these characters have any buffs we have to worry about? No buffs, no buffs. So they're just basic. Okay. They're, they are they be basic. Alright, let's just attack. Damn, look at that. That was crazy. Okay, I can I can handle. I can I can dig that. Uh to strike the target. We only have one tentacle though, so I'm gonna wait. Because if we have more tentacles that can come out, like, why not? I like that auto attack with the tentacle. That's really cool. This makes me smile. Okay, we, we, we real. Oh, wait, we have two tentacles now. Um, Alawi definitely is, like, the anti-cuddler. She's like, I'm going to slap you with my tentacles. Her slimy ghost tentacles. Slap. <laughs> Alawi is, like, the true, like... You know, BDSM queen over here. She's like, <laughs> oh my god, how many tentacles does she have? She just summoned four of them. Oh my god. It's a Karen followed me. It's a Karen. <laughs> Thank you very much for the follow. It's a Karen. Welcome in. Um, hope you're having a great night. Uh, Pit Injury. Hi, how's it going, Pit? Let me give you a shout out. Um, go check out Pit. Um, he's also a streamer. And they were last playing stream later stream raiders. No one I know has actually seen him. Rumor is he stalks the alleys around the Warrens. The Warrens, okay. They say he ain't alive. Not really. Interesting. So we're tracking down someone that's half alive and half dead. And his eyes are empty. Like a body pulled up. Interesting. A creature trapped between life and Front to the goddess. He uh, has a thing for captains. Find a captain and the Ripper won't be far behind, they say. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. I appreciate Thank that. You, little man. Thank hey, you, you, little uh, man. Want to stay a while? I never drank with a priestess before. <laughs> <laughs> She's. <laughs> Elawe is like, you break too easily. Do you want me to slap? She like slap. She grabs, she summons a tentacle and just slaps him on the face as she walks past him. Like, you break too easily. You're not my type. And she just walks away. <laughs> the tentacle trailing behind her. You break too easily. <laughs> but yeah, Guavo, I think you're right. Low key, like, Elawe is probably like the best cuddler ever. Best cuddler ever. But, you know, she's, like, it's before she's the BDSM person. She just, she tentacle slaps, and that's what she does for her submission. Back to that loading, oh, loading screen passed. We had commotion. She I does seem more like a cuddler. Wish to learn tradition. <laughs> Let us search the Warrens nearby. I like how, I love that. She's like, my friends, my... Learn. They want. They just want to learn Boohoo tradition. Like the whole bar is like p knocked out. Everyone's like completely knocked out from that cutscene of the battle. Okay, so apparently we have two party members now, and also there's a treasure chest somewhere over here. We can go get. I wanna go get it. Two cleansing potions and a bunch. Oh my gosh! How much stuff did we get? Damn. That was a lot of stuff. Wait, can we talk to him? I don't think we can talk to him. Creature continues to feed many. Who are you? I spit on Gangplank's memory. The tribes should never have dealt with that brute. So it seems like people in town just seem to have a lot to know about Gangplank. So people here definitely seem indifferent about misfortune. They seem very like, ooh, what's that? It's a diary. Black Friday chest deals, right. Diary. I finally made it to Bilgewater. I could cry with joy. The heavy stink of death on the side on the tide confirms my dearest dream. The Shadow Isles lie just over the horizon. After decades of questing, the perfect vista approaches. Since childhood, I've longed to set my brush to paint the rarest scenery in the world. The ruins of the Blessed Isles, wreathed with spirits and specters, ripe with revenants. 
I've traveled sheer across Valoran and crossed the darkest of oceans to be here. My talent will be tested on the melancholy rubble. My brush will master those rates. The paintings I create will be contemporary masterpieces, rarer and more precious than a portrait of any Jarvan. Demacian aristocracy will drool to hang them in their sitting rooms. And twirling my brush, I will walk into the halls of history. I'm not sure who this is. I can pursue my dream being the first male prima donna ballerina. <laughs> the words make perfect sense. Yeah, what? It's very interesting. Um, okay, so now that we grabbed that, is there anything else we can get here? I don't think there is. Let's just go. So we have to go to the Warrens. Uh, that's where the killer supposedly lurks. And I guess, like, this is Bilgewater. Like, this is the Bilgewater map. And if you could zoom out even further, and this is the oceans of Runeterra. So, we're on island. We're on the, the main island, I guess. I'm excited to see, like, just how, how big this game is. <laughs> Guava. The killer is probably camping somewhere working on gens. Oh, no. Work on gens. Sorry. <sighs> Back to these obvious loading screens. <laughs> the obvious, not so obvious loading screens. They're perfect. I just love reading through these loading screens, and it's just like you know, if you press B, that means to go back to the to back to the main game. <laughs> if you press the plus button on your switch, that's how you quit. Oh no, but we should also save. I didn't even bother saving yet. Uh, yes, we're gonna save to catch a killer. I didn't even think about saving. No, I don't want a tutorial. This looks. The screen looks pretty cool so far, though. I'm. I'm really liking this, and I. And I like how the, you don't have to be a League fan to really understand what's going on here. It seems like the storyline seems pretty simple so far. All right. Um, I see someone. So if you attack someone on the overworld, it brings them. It brings them into the under. It brings them into battle. Damn. Okay, let's see. I'm not going to heal anyone since there's really no point in doing that. Let's just kick some ass. That's all I'm going to do. I mean, I don't really see any reason to do anything other than just attacking. These enemies have no buffs. Oh my god, my switch battery is going to so die right. And then when it and then my switch get finally the controller finally dies, I'll have the surprise Pikachu face. Oh, level three. Oh, no, wait. I'm so close to level three. <laughs> uh, okay, let's... Oh, another diary. <clears throat> I know, right, Glava? Perfect. Diary. Passage to the Shadow Isles is proving expensive. Bilgewater sailors do not willingly approach its shores. Treasure hunters traveling to the Isles instead pay for passage to supply stations near the archipelago. They bring their own small skiffs and use those to navigate through the black mist to isles themselves. I've been forced to adopt the same process and to pay treasure hunter rates. The ship which brought me to the supply station, the Daring, the Daring Darling, they call it, cost me more than what I made on my last commission in Demacia. <clears throat> no problem, Hufan. Thanks for coming in. I'm spending a week docked here at the inn, teaching myself to sail a small skiff. It's grueling work and nearly too much for my sheltered frame. Heh. <laughs> Heh. Heh. But at least it's offering me some unusual views. Trying to keep my hopes up all will go well. That's the attitude to have. Okay, cool. Ooh, I got some equipment. What did I get? So this will increase my health and my attack power and my stamina. Let's let's, let's get them. This will increase everything. <laughs> okay, let's get them. <laughs> These shoes cost three hundred dollars. These shoes cost three hundred dollars. These shoes cost three hundred ducking dollars. Let's get them. All right, let's kick this. Let's kick this person's butt. I hope I hope that battles go by just a little faster. 
now that we oh yeah we like really cleansing debuffs fighters get special effects buffs and debuffs <clears throat> do we have any debuffs or buffs on us right now oh we do uh our teammate has a buff on him a debuff on him i think okay i see so how do we fix it that's the problem do we have to heal removes all debuffs oh yeah well, let's use it on him okay I want to use my lane ability where I... Oh, wait. Is it, is it the one I have? I thought we had... Oh, I'm not using Al Alawi. I'm using someone else. Okay, that makes sense. There we go. Those tentacles are amazing. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, but it takes longer to, like... Okay. Uh, too late. Pinendry, how's your evening been so far? Uh, it's been good. I, I watched Arcane on Netflix and this is my first time like like fin I finished Arcane on Netflix and I loved it like it was so good if you have Netflix go check out Arcane it's so good I am not a, like a huge League of Legends fan I'm not but um watching Arcane on Netflix piqued my interest in League and I really liked it a lot I binged the hell out of Arcane and um it's so good it's so good and uh yeah i really really liked it and um i'm a casual league of legends like player my casual i mean like one i have it installed i have an account i play it once in a while and in the past i've had like an exes like ask me to play it i've had friends that asked me to play it and i'm like okay okay i'll play it and i suck at it and um like I started watching Arcane because some coworkers of mine are like, "Joe, watch Arcane. We think you're really gonna like Arcane." I'm like, "Okay, fine." So I watched it. This I watched it today, and I watched it a couple days ago, and I've been like obsessing over it. And <sighs> it's good. It's really good. This game, uh, Ruined King, it's available on Switch, Xbox, PC. I think. I think it's on PlayStation as well. Um, this is separate from the Netflix show. Completely separate. And, uh, so far I'm liking it a lot. I'm liking it a lot. Um, I'm going to take a quick bathroom break, but when I come back from the bathroom, we're going to continue playing some more of this and see if we can track down the elusive killer. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. If I can find my loading screen. Thank you. 
Hello everybody, welcome back to League of Cuddlers. You guessed it. Tonight we are playing League of Cuddlers. <laughs> Only the most, you know, professional and strongest cuddlers will make the cut. Who will make the cut though? Will it be Misfortune? Will it be <laughs> Elawe? I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> but tonight we are playing League of Legends, Ruin King, League of Legends story. Hope you're all still having a good time. Uh, my apologies for that extended bathroom break. <laughs> but I hope you're all having a great night. Let's jump back in. Thank you. Thank you, Pit. Okay. So, this game so far has been really good. Uh, we're going to track down a killer and see if we can find the killer. Uh, I'm excited to see if we can do it. Will we do it? Will we track down the elusive killer? Will we cuddle them to death? Because I want to. I don't know what that did. But I guess we'll find out. Yeah! Wait, did it? Did that work? Did I attack them? My Thanksgiving was good! Um, family, family gathering, 40 people. Uh, lots of food, and we had a great time. How was your Thanksgiving? Oh, so this one's like a good one. Okay, cool. So this will heal us if we go inside it. So I better make sure that my character can heal. The food was great. Um, an Italian Thanksgiving. We had, we had like a ridiculous amount of food. Oh, there was so much food that we ate twice. <laughs> and that's usually the case for my Thanksgivings. We usually have way too much food, so we usually eat twice. Um, like, we, and we usually, like, a lot, of, a lot of us help each other, so we kind of, like, you know, all help and bring something. And we all, we all usually make more than what we need. Um, but yeah. Victorious! You made an apple cider. Ooh, Pit, that sounds delicious. How was it? Did it turn out okay? Okay, I forgot to, to like, check my abilities. No, I don't want a tutorial. Let's, uh... Hmm. Wait, increases... Oh, to six from five. I thought it said increases max tentacles from six to five. I'm like, what? What? <laughs> I say we do that one. Mm. Oh, we only have one upgrade point. Oopsie. Lulu Lux Joe, how are you doing? We're doing well. I like your penguin emotes. Um, we're playing League of Legends Ruined King, and it's a story, it's a, it's a League of Legends story. Uh, you don't have to have watched Arcane on Netflix to understand what's going on here, but it's still really good. It's really, really good. You should probably watch Arcane on Netflix, though, because Arcane is really good. Uh, we are in the process of tracking down a killer, and it's scary. But guess what? We got a tentacle lady. Digi Cub with the emotes. Already watched it. Oh, nice, Lulu Luck. That's awesome. Did, what did you think? Did you like it? Pit injury. Do I watch a lot of shows? Uh, I do. I do watch a lot of shows. Do you watch a lot of shows? Um, let's see. Um, where to kick your ass? No. I have an interest in shows which should watch more. The story writing surprised how well it was. Oh, yeah. Lulu has the cuter emotes. The penguins are adorable. They are cute. Lulu, there's a, those are your emotes, Lulu Lux. Do you stream? I didn't know you stream. I had no idea you were a streamer. Do I need to give you a shout out? Should I give you a shout out, Lulu Lux? I didn't know didn't know anyway let's continue uh, wheel of time I've never heard of it is it, it sounds pretty good though 
Only the heart one is mine. Oh, you're just you were using other streamer emotes. Got it. Got it. Got shot. Really nice. Thank you. Haven't streamed in a long time. Did you just like get like streamed out or like what happened? I like when she puts the the t the weapon on the ground and she stands on top of it like I'm the badass. Did we get more ability points? We did. I'd rather do that. That way, like, we know for sure it spawns. <laughs> God, that thing must be heavy as hell. Just haven't found the motivation. <sighs> I get it. It's tough. Motivation is definitely um, a thing. Streaming can definitely feel like a second job sometimes. Um, okay, I need to work on healing because my friends are gonna die if I don't heal them. So let's see. Uh, let's heal you and then we'll heal you. And then, um, heals all allies for 57 health. Let's do that. Okay. I'm kind of just like doing a heal thing real quick. Okay, now I can pay attention. So basically what I was saying was, uh, streaming sometimes feels like a second job because there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of commitment involved, you know? You gotta be, not only are you like streaming content, but you're also, you know, like supporting other streamers. There's a lot of uh, stuff you gotta, pit injury here, here. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff you gotta do. Like you're not just streaming in front of a camera, you're also like, you know, part of a community and multiple communities usually. And it can be hard, it can be dark, it can be hard sometimes. You know, that's the, streaming is like an entrepreneurship kind of thing, like you're, really trying to um, promote yourself and sell yourself and that can definitely be tiresome it can be very tiresome like for example for December for next month I've decided to lower the number of days I stream from four to five down to like three to four a week because um, and it's not because I'm tired it's just because I have content that I want to create for the channel and I realized that I'm not going to be able to get it all done if I if I'm streaming. So I need to um, balance it more. So uh, for content that I want to create for you all, I have to stream less and then focus more on that to help you know do things better. So it's definitely more of like a um, there's definitely a lot you know going on when it comes to being a streamer and having to juggle content creation versus community support. And, uh, and the other reason why I switch, I'm going down to a lower number is because it gives me more opportunities to watch your content and watch your streams. Cause you know, that's, that's, that's the other half of Twitch. Not only are you, you know, streaming in front of a camera and like, you know, playing games together, but you know, I have to support you, you as well. And I want to, and you know, it's definitely a challenge. Um, and like I said, I'm also trying to create more content, like besides just um, my streams, uh, especially content that subscribers would like. Because um, a lot of you all are very generous and very awesome, and I would wish. And there, there, there's, there, I've been brainstorming ways to like give subscribers not just my emotes, but more uh, content that they might enjoy. So um, that's on the horizon as well. Ooh. Um, let's see. Thank you, Pit. I appreciate it. I want to watch one of your streams soon. Please, please don't. Don't cuddle me. Don't so cuddle afraid, me. So alone, but soon, Captain. Is that Singe? Is that his name, Singe? You won't feel a thing ever again. Damn, scary. What list? I've never seen you before in my life. I'm not even a captain anymore. I haven't sailed in years. Please. Abomination. Face the Kraken Priestess if you dare. Mm. 
Killing you would be fun. This is scary. <gasps> oh! He, he fucking no. kicked him off the cliff. Damn. Forsaken one, do you think I am offering you a choice? <laughs> Do you think I am offering you a choice? No. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Blood Harbor Ripper. Ooh. Recommend a book, game, movie, show, or song, and you picked show. Am I allowed? Am I allowed to recommend Arcane on Netflix, or am I not? Should I pick something else? <laughs> am, I, am I allowed, Godric, to recommend that, or should I recommend something different? <laughs> exactly like what, what do you want me to should I recommend something different <laughs> Godric but did I recommend it to you did I recommend it to you <laughs> did you know League of Legends before watching Arcane did I know League of Legends before watching Arcane I did I'm, I'm a casual League player uh, but like but like very casual like super casual uh, to the point that like I, I barely play it, um, but then I watched it on Netflix and I was like, okay, okay, we'll definitely watch it. Um, Guava's Redemption, no, was it Guava? No, Godric's Redemption of Hydrate is brought to you by Ice Mountain Water infused with Fruit Punch from Crystal Light. Ah. I watched ten minutes and didn't care for it, but I'm going to give it a three episode try. Oh, nice. Yeah, it just keep giving it, keep keep watching, just keep watching. Guavo wants to pop a blue bubble, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop the blue bubble right on top here. That means there has to be four more people that, or if if Guavo continues his track, that means that when he finally pops that last bubble, 100 bits will go to the streamer of his choice. Um, let's see. So a show that I recommend, um. I'm playing with my like my like stress toy by the way um a show that I recommend let me go through my Netflix account really quick and see if there's a new show that I plan to watch after this or a show that I recommend there's so many good shows out there to watch it's insane so many good shows um um let's see if there's a show that I would recommend Besides Arcane, which I just saw, um, I did not watch Jenny and Georgia. Hey, I'm supposed to watch. I'm supposed to recommend the show. Okay, but I'll write that down. That sounds interesting. Um, if there's a show that I recommend, um, I would recommend. <laughs> it's okay, Godric. I'm just. I'm just fucking. Um, I would recommend watching. Okay, I don't know if you've seen it already, but I would recommend the show You Y O U. Uh, it, they just released season three, and uh, if you like Dexter, you might really like You on Netflix. It's like a, think of it like a romantic love story, but gone wrong. Um, it's really good. It's really crazy. The main character's name is also Joe. So if you like Joe's like Italian gamer Joe, you might also like a main character also named Joe. Uh, check out You Y O U on Netflix. Uh, like I said, season three just came out and the show was like wildly popular right now. So please check that out. Um, hey, Fierce Cookie, welcome in. Let me go ahead and give you a quick shout out. And this music is really loud. Let me go ahead and give you a quick shout out. Um, please go check out Fierce Cookie. Um, she is also Italian and, um, her, a lot of her streams are comedy and, uh, like a lot of web stuff, but like definitely check out first cookie. She's, she's really awesome. And, uh, yeah, I, she usually streams like for me when she streams, it's usually in the, in the daytime when I'm at work. So I don't have the opportunity to watch a lot of her content. But, um, if you're looking for like, if you live in the, if you live in the like central standard time and, or like, you know, um, if you, a lot of her streams definitely take place like like I said before for me at least in the daytime so I um but when I when I lurk I do try to lurk and like I said she's really funny lots of web content lots of like really cool content um please go check her out and uh prego <laughs> prego fierce cookie <laughs> um but yeah so tonight for those of you that are just coming in um we are playing ruined king I'm lowering the game's volume 
We are playing Ruined King. Uh, it is a League of Legends story. If you have Netflix, I highly recommend you check out the TV show Arcane. Um, Arcane is a uh, Netflix show that is based on League of Legends, and it's so good. So good. Um, there's only nine episodes, and they're only on one season, and I highly recommend it because it's just... It's just oh, the writing is just so good in my opinion. It's just insanely good. One of my coworkers recommended it to me, and I like had to watch it. Yeah, fierce cookie. The drawings are insanely impressive. I'm just I can't believe it. I can't believe how impressive, uh, like what they did. It's just it's it's so good. <laughs> did you watch it? Um, they are extremely expressive. Exactly. It's just, it's amazing. Riot has been delivering. Oh, is this an alt? What is he doing? Oh my god, he just killed one of our characters instantly. Okay, well then. He just fucking killed our character, like, fucking instantly. What was that all about? That's not good. That's not good. And I don't think we even have, like, any weapons or items to, like, bring them back to life either. Revives a fallen ally. Oh, okay. Maybe we'll do it on him. Okay, he's back. Oh, God. He's going to get ready to kill him. Not that. Not again. Okay, maybe we can, like, reduce the damage taken at least. Okay, he's defending. Okay, at least we got that. Godric, is it a poppet challenge? And what do the colors mean? Oh, so for those of you who don't know, I have this like bubble pop toy and the way it works is that you pick a color and um, if all the bubbles in a certain color get popped, then you, if you're a streamer, you get a hundred bits. If you're a viewer, you can choose which streamer gets the hundred bits. If you are a streamer and you don't want the bits, I can give the bits to another community of your choice. Basically, if you pop all the bubbles within a color, then you get a hundred bits. Um, but you have to be the last person that pops that bubble. So that, there's kind of like a caveat to it. You got, if, like, for example, um, if two of the buzz bubbles in pink are, are popped and, uh, there's only one bubble left in pink, if you're the last person to request it, then you get a hundred bits, but you got to be the last person to request it. So that's the kind of the challenge here. Um, so this is what it looks like so far. And so far people have been picking red, blue, and light blue. So that's what you got so far. Green is considered like the ice blue. I'm going to change that at some point, but that is the challenge so far. Um, can requests be done in bulk? No. <laughs> it's a channel point redemption that also has a cooldown. So um, uh, it's, it's, it's a first come first serve. So it's just one of those things that those silly things that you can do. And uh, if you happen to be the last person, then you know, you get a reward. It's just something, just something small. Joe always has such creative redeems. It's kind of like like a gamble because like I mean because you're you're not sure if you're the last person, but you might be. Uh, Fruits Cookie wants to do purple. Okay, so we are now doing purple. Let me go ahead and pop it for you. Um, that means that there are two redemptions of purple left for someone to get the 100 bits. And, um, like I said, uh, if you're a streamer, you can have the bits for yourself or you can choose somebody else to get the 100 bits. It's up to you. Um, but Hey, everyone loves bits, right? Like, <laughs> uh, if you get, if you if you're the last person in your streamer, feel free to take them. It's cool how you experiment with things. Yeah. I've experimented with lots of different channel point redemptions. I'm always changing it up a bit. Um, they're always something different, always something new. Um, I try to do something different once a month just to keep things fresh. Um, but yeah. All right, let's let's kill this uh undead alien pirate, whatever the hell it is. I don't even know what it is, but let's just do it. Um, I want to heal him. Okay, we have two tentacles out. I'm going to I'm going to be on the offensive with Aloe because she needs to be on the offensive. No, otherwise no one's going to die. Or no one's gonna get defeated, and then with um, with my like with the allies, we're gonna do healing, bleed magic. What? Wait, did I just get? What happened to me? Um, debuffs. 
Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna have uh, Aloy uh, keep attacking, and then we're gonna have the allies um, continue to do like healing and debuffs. So we're gonna give her the debuffs, and then um, I think we're at max for the for the for the for the tentacles. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do power lane and then we're going to deal 60 damage and then all the tentacles deal double damage so i'm hoping that it'll work whose turn is it now oh okay we're going to make him heal fuck okay good we're good um that wasn't crystal light oh you mean my coke <laughs> uh very good lots of hard work and i see and i appreciate that yeah thank you guava offensive cuddler i know right okay let's see uh, it's the allies turn. We're gonna have her do some healing to this dude God if Okay, cool cool, and then we're gonna have him uh, Heal himself And then we're gonna have Aloe do the same thing she did last time with the harsh Prepare for a lesson of tentacle bopping uh I don't know what the red thing means. I think it means he's preparing an attack to kick our butts. So hopefully he doesn't. Um, whose turn is it? Okay, so I'm going to have her just attack him. Oh my gosh, we killed him. Yes, we did it. We need like the final fantasy. Na, 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 Thanks, Fierce. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, we didn't really get much experience. Oh, no, wait, did we? We got world level 5. Okay, new ability, Taunt. That's cool. We should. I would totally use that on Aloe. She, she seems like a tank kind of character. No problem, Fierce Cookie. Thanks for the lurk. And for those who don't know Fierce Cookie, please give her a follow. Oh, wow. What's happening to him? He's like... Is he alive or is he supernatural? What did you do to me? This I whipped you with my tentacle. I found worthy, but you are a monster. What is? What are you trying to show me? So we defeated him. <laughs> Lulu, hot. <laughs> Is Gangplank still alive? A great test. So it looks like Gangplank might be resurrected. Goddess, help me understand. Who's this? Are you hurt? How did the drowned one escape us? The goddess hey, Banda. favored him. I do not understand. But you must. <laughs> you are the truth, Banda. The mother serpent's will flows through you. Perhaps you need rest. I need no such thing. Return to the village. I will join you soon. Well then. We're going to the Buhu Grotto. That sounds interesting and very, um, yeah, that sounds crazy. Um, so far, I'm like really liking this game so far. There's a lot to it, and I'm really enjoying uh, just how much is involved with it. I, I, uh, I'm impressed. I'm very impressed with it. Um, and like I said, I the reason why the only reason why I'm like doing all this is because I loved watching Arcane on Netflix, and I just really really am enjoying it I, I i really yeah <clears throat> um i'm excited to see what happens this is really cool i'm, I'm really impressed with what just how much is going on with this game it's it's really cool so far you come for cuddle well i seek guidance it looks like we're not speak child <laughs> tell me what trouble I need cuddles. I sought to purge Bilgewater of a great threat. An enemy whose shadow spreads fear and stagnation in the streets. Yes, such is your charge. And you do it well. But this blood harbor ripper, 
I tested <laughs> Thanks, Panda. And the goddess found him worthy. Furious, indeed. It makes no sense. He is no living man, and the unliving are shameful to our goddess. How could he possibly pass Oh, death? it's beautiful. I have worked so hard to interpret her will, but this seems wrong. I should not doubt the goddess. But now I worry I have lost my way. My child, the mother serpent's will flows through all things. Only when we follow our desire does the universe flow towards destiny. Open yourself up to all possibilities and let the path present itself. But have I misjudged her will? This is very interesting so far. If this monster is worthy. Have I been wrong about others? If I gave the goddess's blessing to those who did not deserve it, that would be blasphemy. Perhaps I should renounce my position as truth bearer. Lowry, I will not entertain such nonsense. I have taught you in the ways <laughs> of Nagakoburo since you were a child. Perhaps you need a cuddle. <laughs> you are strong, and the goddess's will flows through you. Trust your judgment. And trust your cuddling. But what if I'm wrong? The vision I saw, the black mist consuming everything. Something terrible is coming, and I cannot afford uncertainty. The goddess sent me a vision, but I still need more. I need her guidance. And her cuddling. Only the goddess knows what destiny awaits. It is not my place to instruct you. You must find your own path. The stakes for Bilgewater are too high. Mm. I am to be certain in my course of action, yet I have so many questions. Then ask them. It is in seeking these answers that you alone find truth where others cannot. But you must also find patience. Truth bearer. Interesting. And I... Yes. Patience. I will reflect on what has passed and hope a path presents itself. I wonder how Alawi. Priestess! Oh. Okay. There's something you must see. Let's go see. What is it? Docks Harbor. So far, I'm liking this a lot. It kind of reminds me of like Netflix. I feel like I'm watching a show, I feel like I'm watching a TV show. Uh, I'm liking the characters. I'm liking the story. Um, I like that there's more than one medium to experience the League of Legends uh, lore. Like, you know, like the Netflix show, like this video game. And I like how this video game is not just some, like, port of Arcane, the Netflix show. I like how it focuses on different characters. To me, that's very, very impressive. Oh, no. My controller died. No! That is quite a man. Can I use this one instead? This is okay, I have a different one. That is also on low battery. It is an honor to meet you. I am brought. <laughs> right, did you come? Yeah. Exactly. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. <laughs> Oh, this guy is totally, this guy is totally going to be our next party member. I mean, look how big he is. Look how big he is and how self-centered he is and how cuddly he is. This guy is going to be the next party member. Oh my god, it's so cute. This is the character. This is the, this is the one dude. Oh my god! Look at the little puppy things! They look so cute! Good care of him until I oh my god. So cute. Rest now. Brom. We'll find a cure for hey Candy Girl, welcome in. You have my Totes Sploosh. Ah! <laughs> right, Digi. The, impossible. Your heart is pure. That stash. the is spreading. For Brom, nothing is impossible. Those little pet pets were so cute. Daddy Brom. 
He's, is he a, are these all champions in League of Legends? What must I do? When I was a boy, my father spoke of a place called the Blessed Isles. There, they possessed water, which was said to cure any illness. But Ram, that place was destroyed by the Black Mist. Shadow Isles, we call it now. Dangerous. Even for you. Who knows if that water even exists? Sometimes a story is just a story. Sometimes a story is just a story about cuddling. Think about the cuddling. Oh, you like that? I'm rocking my flannel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the confidence. I appreciate that, Digi Cub. Thank you. Thank you. We all wear we wear fl flannel on Fridays, but today's oh yeah, today's Friday. I was like, wait a minute, is today Friday? I'm like, wait, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, wait a minute, but today is Friday. Okay, okay, so we're good. We good. You fought the black mist. Are you sure? Oh my God! And the pet, yes, and I will the pet so. got drawn on his shoulder that is so cute in the battle with the mist my shield was lost it is very thank you did you come i will do whatever i must even if it means controlling okay so can you girl pop the yellow uh you can't see it but none of them popped yet i'm gonna go ahead and pop the yellow so there we go well what is the message the message is you must cuddle Says, Cuddle hard. Well, she says the black mist has returned. Um, hello, Spinal Indiano. I speak a little Italian, but this is an English speaking stream. Thank you, Bram. She'll be expecting you. Come with us. I know the way. My friend, it seems fate has brought us together. This is not your fight. As truth bear, it is my sworn duty to push back the mist. Yet, your arrival here is no coincidence. Oh, she's gonna this totally add him to his te her team. They are going to cuddle so much together. So it appears. I will not stop you. Let us see what Sarah Fortune knows. Oh my god. We have two of the biggest cuddlers. And then we have Miss Fortune, who wouldn't seem like a cuddler, but she's also a cuddler. <laughs> Brom has joined the party. Roll. Defense. Disruption. Buffs. Bears. Beats. Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> yeah, Spinal, I'm sorry. Um... I only speak little Italian. Um, this is an English stream, but thank you for coming in. And um, yeah, if you want to hang out with us, you are more than welcome to. Um, blessed with massive biceps and an even bigger heart, Brom is a beloved Iceborne hero of Fredlord. Brom uses his massive shield to protect his allies and stop any who would try to harm them. In his icy homeland, sagas are sung of Brom's deeds, but in Bilgewater, he is just another traveler, seeking a way to cure his people of the disease that plagues them. Interesting. The Candy Girl says, Michael, from The Office TV show. Brom carries a poro. Oh, that's what it's called, a poro. Oh, that's cool. It finds items. Shield stomp. <sighs> cool. So it seems like Brawn is a uh, a tank. Interesting. I like it. I like it. Meet Misfortune at her manor. Cool. Well, where's her manor? Jeez, this game is getting bigger and bigger. I have no clue where to go. Oh my god. 
meet Miss Fortune at her manor. The Fortune Estate is where we have to go. Okay, so the Fortune Estate is this way. It's this way. Okay, okay, cool. Good to know. Good to know. Oh my gosh, it's crazy just how big this game is. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. It seems like there's a lot going on here, and I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I think what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to save, because I've been playing for the last almost two hours. Um, I think I'm going to call this a good time to um, to stop, to, to uh, end episode one of this of this game. Um, Digicub. OMG, it's so big. <laughs> uh, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get ready to raid someone. For those of you that came in tonight, thank you so much for hanging out with me, for hanging out with Italian Gamer Joe. Um, I'm going to go ahead and find someone to raid. So if you want to just hang out for a moment with me, uh, maybe I can find someone new. Um, let me see who's online. Maybe I can find someone chill and cool to raid. Someone that uh, we could hang out with. So let me go ahead and double check and see who's online tonight. But for those of you that are here tonight, thank you so much for hanging out with me and playing this League of Legends game. I hope you had fun watching me play it. Um, it's definitely a more cinematic experience, so um, I hope that I was able to give it some Italian Gamer Joe, like toying with my with my randomness. <laughs> uh, but let's see, who's online tonight? Let me see if I can check on my phone to see who's who's online, and maybe I can maybe I could try rating someone that's somewhat playing something similar let me see or, not, or maybe not um let me see so there's a new streamer that i started watching recently and um he's not really new he's been streaming for a while but um he plays league of legends and um that's how i found him he goes by the street the name easy trev um, we're gonna go ahead and give him a raid because, uh, like I said before, he plays League of Legends and he's offered to like hang out and do like community nights once in some time. Um, Guava's Redemption of Hydrate is brought to you by Ice Mountain Water. But they, for those of you that are here, thank you so much for coming in tonight. I'm gonna start the raid for Easy Trev. He is another gay streamer. Um, <clears throat> he prides himself on being a streamer that likes to yell and get very passionate about things. So let's go ahead and give him a raid and see how it goes. Um, I hope you all have a great night. Thank you so much again for hang for hanging out with me. And um, yeah, I hope you're all having a great weekend. I hope you're all having. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. And uh, yeah, hope to see you all very, very soon. Once again, Italian Gamer Joe is signing off. And thanks again. See you all next time. Whew.